during these trying times, we know that pretty much only G&G &G came out with new things in Airsoft. But finally, VFC and Elite Force have come together in Holy Mattress Money to make something beautiful. What's going on you guys, my name is Cisco, and today we have the brand new Elite Force VFC Avalon PDW2 caliber. That was a mouthful. Let's just get into it. Psych! You guys thought, you know what time it is. It's subscribe time. So go ahead and hit the little red button down below and hit the bell notification button so you get notified of every time we upload a video. Help us beat the algorithm, guys. Airsoft is getting zucked on YouTube. We don't want that. We want you guys to see it and we want you guys to share it with your friends and your family, your creepy neighbor and their weirder child. Speaking of airsoft, support the channel directly by shopping at airsoftgi.com. Pick up all your airsoft goodies. Actually, I have this nice murder mayo patch, limited edition. That means limited quantities, guys. Available for $7 at airsoftgi.com. You supporting them directly supports us. So basically guys, this is VFC's competitor to the Crytac PDW and the KWA Ronin T6. There's gonna be a master debate coming very soon. And believe that it's coming fast and hard. Hopefully not premature. Bruh. In traditional Avalon fashion, it does have the full metal Ford style receiver with the nice trademarks on the side. And it does have the QRS accessories being the nice beaver tail pistol grip with decent texturing. The angle's all right, not too bad. It does have the uh, trigger guard with the finger shelf and it's a hit or miss for people. You may like it, you may hate it. It's whatever to me. The 120 round mid cap magazine. I don't know what VFC was thinking. It's like someone stepped on a beehive and they just took that and put it on there, kind of weird. But new to the QRS system line, they have this nice PDW stock that we're gonna be talking about a little bit more later. Moving to the front, we have this nice M-Lock handguard. It's about uh, five inches, four inches. But the thing that you notice the most is this overly painted that. It's a, it is an amplifier, it's full metal, but they had to paint it all just this, guys. That's all you needed to do. But everything else included, they do have the flip-up iron sights that are spring-loaded, fancy, and they do have the ambidextrous controls being the fire selector and the magazine release. And then they do have the ambidextrous kind of uh, charging handle. It's not really ambidextrous, but it is. They, it's like they use the cheat code, but it didn't really work, but it still works. So it failed successfully. Quick note about the handguard if you want to change it for something a little bit longer. You can't! At least not for M4 AR-15 style platform. It is using the 416 style rail system. So 416 style rails only. However, if someone gets this and they decide to put the nice Geisley extended SMR rail and they put a nice integrated suppressor and roast my build, not only do you get the guaranteed win, I'm gonna give you extra prizes. Now it's time to talk about the PDW stock and the problem about the PDW stock, and that is battery space. There's only two companies that have figured it out, Classic Army and KWA. There's not a lot of battery space in PDW stocks. This one, unfortunately, is the same as the rest. However, Lancer Tactical does make 600 milliamp hour and 900 milliamp hour batteries that fit perfectly in the stock for you to pick up and enjoy your gun the way it is. However, if you don't want to do that, you can get, actually, it comes included out of the box, the battery tube extender. So nice, it allows you to fit a standard stick type LiPo, uh, maybe the tri-panel. I haven't figured it out yet, I haven't tried it. There's extra wiring, so it's your gamble. Oh, and it does come in nice bronze as well. The correct color, the yeah. right choice. Yeah. Now the real question is, will this battery tube extension prevent the stock from locking or being activated. And, oh, it, it works. It's not as nutty, but it works. Hey, it's not, it's not as powerful either. The thump wasn't as nice. 
My one gripe about this gun is this. Well, VFC, what were you thinking with this? It, this mag release, you didn't need to reinvent the wheel, okay? It's disgusting, it feels ugly, it looks ugly. Look at this, my finger's slipping off because it's this cone shape. VFC, you could have done like, if this was just flat or if you did like an extended paddle. And I get it, you have the, the screw in there to adjust the tightness or loosen it for different magazines, but you could have done that with a standard one. Why, why do this? <sighs> Now that we've talked about the externals, let's get into the internals. And it's the same. It's the same as the Avalon Sabres, the other calibers, the 416A5, the MCX uh, SIG gun. What does that mean though? Basically it means quick chain spring system, a pretty nice gearbox shell, decent quality internals with 18-1 gears, decent compression set, high torque motor, inline MOSFET, a rotary saw hop-up unit and a standard barrel. But the greatest thing about it is, it's aftermarket compatible, completely. You can change out everything and upgrade it to your heart's content. Super dope. With all that being said, how does this gun shoot? We chronoed the Avalon Gen 2 caliber PDW with 0.20 gram BBs at about 355 to 360 FPS. And with an 11 LiPo, it shot about 25 BBs per second. A blistering 25 BBs per second. Pretty nice, guys. That compression is actually decent. Plus or minus five FPS is really good out of the box. This being a PDW, it is shooting a little hot for CQB. But my theory is that you just need to break in the spring a little bit, shoot a few magazines, and it should get you into that under 350 FPS zone. All right, guys, enough talking about this gun. Let's go shoot this, not 416C. But because it's a PDW, Boy, oh, sorry, you're not gonna shoot it. I'm what? Have oh, shoot damn it. it! Come on. Sorry. Pretty boy, come here. All right, Kevin out here with the new VFC Caliber Avalon PDW AG. I don't know much about this gun because Cisco just told me that I am speed and that I should just shoot it. So we're just gonna see what my first impressions are. Uh, we are running 0.25 gram BBs in here. We do have the extended battery case so that we are able to fit an 11.1 LiPo in here as well. And we do have the new Vism uh, style, not style, Vism Red Dot. Uh, it's very fancy. Solar powered and everything, but we're not here to talk about the sight. Let's talk about the gun. We have a target set up roughly 70 feet from us. So we're just gonna see if I can uh, nail it down. All right, here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my. Okay. Before I continue shooting, the sound that this gun makes is so nice. It is like ASMR for your ears. It's just uh, chef's kiss. It's so nice. It's so snappy. Oh my God. It's very loud too. It kind of reminds me of the ARP9 Crown, but crispier. I, I don't know, that's, that's the best description I can give it, but oh man, that is nice. Oh wow. Woo! Oh my gosh, this thing is actually very snappy. Um, the trigger is a little bit squishier than I wanted to. It's a little stiff um, and the, the brake, it's nice, but the reset is a little too long for me. If I were to do anything to this right away, I'd probably switch out the trigger. But honestly, it's still pretty good. Now, Cisco did tell me that the full auto on this is surprisingly fast for an out of the box gun. So let's just switch that to full auto and mow it down. So in that last take, I was a little bit too distracted by how fast that sounded that I didn't notice we were out of BBs. So we do have another mag here. Let's do that full auto again. And now I will actually watch the BBs, okay? Oh man, that's nice. You just nut? <sighs> you might need to do another take. I gotta change my pants. The Elite Force Gen 2 Avalon Caliber PDW is retailing for $405 at airsoftgi.com and is available in both black and bronze. And make sure you use the Wombo Combo for all the extra savings. All right guys, after shooting this gun, eh, for $400, $405, okay, let's be real, it shoots pretty good. But VFC is known for their top-notch externals. You're paying for the externals, it is 
Gucci. Internally, it's above average. Like, let's be real. I'm going to gut the entire gun and Gucci-fy this thing. So I would probably recommend this to people who are more experienced players who know how to work on their gun and have a lot of disposable income. The money. Honestly, you guys, there are other PDWs on the market that get you more bang for your buck. But if you want to flex on the field, you can't flex more than saying, I have the VFC caliber PDW, then everyone goes, oh, All right, guys, let me know what you think about the Avalon caliber PDW2 in the comments below. Me personally, Elite Force, VFC, hear me out, hear, hear me out. 10 inch rail, integrated mock suppressor for the first Honey Badger HK style gun. Huh? Huh? Hear me out, guys. I, I'll, I'm willing to take calls, okay? But that's all for now. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more content. Ring the bell to be notified of when we upload every video. We upload every Wednesdays, Fridays. Support the channel directly by supporting Airsoft GI. Pick up all your Airsoft needs and goodies over there. And that's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Wasting water.